Guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be playing Doki Doki Literature Club yet again. Also, make sure to go subscribe to Berizo1 underscore YT and my second channel, Glass Man Short. So yeah, let's go. Now, uh, we just left off from, uh, I think making a note? Maybe? I'm not sure where we left off, but still. Sorry if there's any noise in the background. It's probably just my baby brother. Because he just doesn't want to sleep for some reason. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't- I don't really mean to. Sorry. I'm oh, sorry there's no, like, music. I'm assuming something bad's gonna happen since there isn't any. I mean... Ah ha ha ha. Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against series and then hold the book. Hold, then I hold my book more in between the two of them. Ah. I, su I, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. Feels like my left arm is in the way, so I instead use my right hand to hold the book open. Ah, I guess that kind of makes it difficult to turn the page. Here. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and her forefinger. Ah, I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. I find it weird how there's no music at this part. That way I turn- wait, is- wait, let me check something. Um, settings, music volume. Yeah, everything's fine. So that just means something creepy is gonna happen. But holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I could feel the warmth of Yuri's face as if she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Eh? To turn the page? Ah, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again and her eyes meet. I love how the eye moves. Like Yuri's eye back and forth. That's cool. Cool detail. I don't know why it doesn't do that with like Natsuki and everyone in the background while they're like reading book or at a desk or something. But you know. It's kind of hard to animate stuff like this. I don't know how I'm going to be able to keep up with her. Ah. That's okay. You're not used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I could do. Since you've been so patient with me. Y yeah Thanks. We continue reading. Yuri, no longer ask me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, and I turn it on my own... volition? We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. I can't imagine what that's like. You're just sitting there reading a book in complete silence. Imagine how awkward that would be. With someone right next to you just reading the book. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Dang, this has a lot of detail put into it. Hey, hey Eerie. This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Oh, that face is a weird face that looks like a psycho. Eh? -eh? N no, I didn't relate to this chapter at all. Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking for the way she second guesses things and she says that and all that. Ah ha ha. That's what you're talking about. Sorry. I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? N never mind. We didn't get that even get that far yet. Oh. I think that I think I know what that might be referencing. Sorry if I sound weird, my throat kinda hurts and my voice is just all over the past couple of days. So I don't know why that came to my head. Ah ha ha ha. Yuri, are you feeling alright? Eh? Yuri's been a little bit 
fidgety over since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My breathing? Yuri puts her hand over her chest as to feel her heartbeat. I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some more. That's weird. Her heart is racing and... Just look at that creepy smile. That is really weird. I, I just need some water. Alright, don't push yourself. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? Glassman? Did something happen just now? Eh? I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything? Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh no, not really. I was just making sure you didn't do anything to her. No, no, nothing. Ah ha ha, don't worry, I believe you, silly. Yuri just does that sometimes, it's nothing alarming. Alright, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start sharing our poems with each other? Eh? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might take a while, so I'd figure we just start without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book and then slip it back into my bag. Alright, there's the music. For some reason, it wasn't there before. Wait. Oh. Natsuki or Monica? Natsuki. Hmm. Well, it's not terrible, but it's pretty disappointing after your last one. Then again, if this was as good as your last one, I'd be completely pissed. Well, I guess I wanted to try something a little different this time. Fair enough, you're still new to this, so I wouldn't expect you to find your style right away. I mean, everyone in the club <sighs> writes really differently from each other. Maybe you'll find a little influence from all of us. For instance, I noticed that you were spending some time with Yuri today. That, not that I care that you spend time with her. After all, I was taught never to expect anything from anybody. So it's not like I was waiting for you or anything. Still, you should have at least looked over my poem. You'll probably be able to learn something from it. Oh. That's nice. It's just random letters and numbers. Hmm. What language did you write this in? Glassman. Oh god, that's bold text. Glassman. Why didn't you come read with me today? I was waiting for you. I was waiting for a long time. It was the only thing that I had to look forward to today. Why did you ruin it? Do you like Yuri more? I think you're better off not associating with her. Are you listening to me? Oh god. Yuri is a sick freak. That should be obvious by now. So just play with me instead. Oh god, the screen's going dark. Okay. You don't hate me, Glassman, do you? Do you hate me? Do you want me to make me go home crying? Oh god, that's red blood tears. The club is the only place I feel safe. Don't ruin that for me. Don't ruin it. Please. Just stop talking to Yuri. Play with me instead. It's all I have. Play with me. Play with me. What the heck? Upside down end? What was that? Who should I show my poem to next? Let me take a moment to process what I just saw. Did Natsuki just snap her neck and run at me? Oh, God. Oh, no. This is... Oh, and he acts like nothing happened. All right. Hi again, Glassman. How's the writing going? All right, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. Ah ha I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to hear what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. I give my poem to Monica. Dot dot dot. All right. Great job, Glassman. I was going... Ooh, in my head while reading it. 
It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to do something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way, I o it always counts when I put in some effort. Haha, <laughs> that's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked out anyway. You know, Yuri kind of likes writing, right? Writing is full of imaginary and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is totally detached from reality. I don't mean it like a bad thing, though. Sometimes I get the impression she's just totally given up on people. Yeah, she said that in bold letters last time, like, people don't deserve to exist or something like that. Something crazy. She spends so much time in her own head that it's probably an interesting place for her. But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must really starve for social interaction, so I don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. Like earlier. I think she gets a little too s stimulated. She ends up with withdrawing and looking for alone time. Suddenly the door opens. Yuri! I am back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, I started sharing our poems with each other. Eh? Already? I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm glad that you took all the time you needed. Alright. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should get to my poem now. But anyway, wanna read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Oh. That's nice. Save me. The colors won't stop. The colors, they won't bright. Beautiful colors. Flashing. Some of the letters are missing. Expanding, piercing, red, green, blue. An endless canopy. This is the same thing as last time, I think, except with, like, capital letters and things missing. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, grating, Orvinous? Squeaking, screeching, piercing. Sign constant angent? Like playing a whiteboard on a trump turntable? Like playing with a knife on a breathing rib cage? What the heck? Endless pain of meaningless. Oh. That's nice. What's all the way down here? Delete her? In the game files, you could delete people. So that's weird. Oh no, there's no text. Oh god. Did you guys see the glitch? He just stood there for like a good three seconds and then just snapped back. Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. Oh, Monica, that smug smile, too. I was just trying to, um... Well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself in a difficult s situation. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. Actually, good idea, Monica. I haven't saved my thing in a while, so... Thanks for the reminder. You never know when, um, who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Whoa, that's weird. Anything? Please help me. It just says, please help me. Okay. Please help me. Okay. That's weird. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. That was creepy. Sorry about my head keep on popping up when the screen is all black. I can't really do anything about that. It's the only way I, I can see. I've been waiting for this. kind of looks funny when I pop my head up from my tablet. I just look like a little gnome like, Hello, what's happening? I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written today. Dot dot dot. Yuri smiles and takes a deep breath. I like this toting it. Hmm? Question mark? Uh, I mean, the poem turned out good. It's, uh, well, three. Th there are some things you could work on, but that doesn't really matter. Feels like you're 
Anything you write is a treasure. The music is fading out. Ah ha ha ha. Oh, and then it just revamped up again. That is so weird. That came out a little awkward. L let's move on. Here's the poem I wrote. You don't have to like it or anything. Wheel. Oh my god. I am not reading all that. No way. I'll just read the first little things of it. A rotating wheel. Turning an axle. Grinding bottle head. I can't even read this. Linear gearbox. Falling sky. Seven holy skates. This is weird. Dock ship. A portal to another world. A thinned rope type to a... S That's weird how it says a thin rope tied to a thick rope. Like how Sayori died by, you know... And the music stopped as well. That's weird. Ah ha 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 ha. It doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has a little been. It's been. A, my mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. Ah. A, a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I take it home. So I took it home for safekeeping. I, um, I, I really like the way it writes. So I wrote this poem with it. And now, you're touching it. Ah ha 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 ha. I'm okay. What did I just... Dot dot dot. This is getting creepy. Can we pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem, though. You have unlocked the special poem. Would you like to read it? Sure. Stare at the dot for a special message. What? I love you. It, the dot just turned to I love you. Does anything else happen? Hmm. That's weird. Wait. Is there whispering in the background? That's weird. Alrighty then. This game is starting to get a little bit bonkers. But, anywho, this video is getting quite long. So, yeah, I'm gonna end off the video here. This game is getting really creepy. But, besides that, anywho, hope you guys have a good day or night. Goodbye.